everyone, Bishi here and welcome to my let's play of the Men of Yoshiwara, Kikuya. I'm excited to bring this to you as I am excited for every game I bring out to you guys. Um, unfortunately this game does not have voice acting, which I kind of hoped it did, but sadly it doesn't. It is an Odama game for all you Odama lovers. And I will be playing all the routes. I will be playing the sub-stories. And I'm pretty excited. I played this a long time ago. But I was like, well, let's play it again because it's, it's pretty good. The, the opening movie. This has an opening movie. It has no voices. But it has an opening movie that I think all of you should watch because it's an amazing opening movie. Oh my gosh. So I'll link that in the description below. A large pleasure district exists in the middle of an island. Some women just want children. Others are looking for love. For one night only, they buy themselves a man who can never be theirs. In this pleasure district, read the mysterious and glamorous air. In this pleasure district where beautiful but fleeting dreams are woven. What is it the women truly buy? Dreams, illusions, or reality? On this island, where men are never born, they yearn for the men of the Pleasure District. The male courtesans of the Pleasure District are far out of the reach of ordinary commoners. Now, enjoy yourself. Have a good time in the district. Go on and enjoy yourself. But this is no ordinary fleeting dalliance. Your heart, body, and womanhood are all on the line. You will never be able to escape. Not from the seductive wiles of the courtesans. No, let's be more accurate. From the pure love of the courtesans. Which would you prefer? To get serious? Or to assume you're being toyed with? The choice is entirely up to you. Enjoy being toyed with by your own lusts and passions. Enjoy the maddening, temptatious lifestyles of truly refined courtesans. I finally made it to the Inari Shrine. Relieved, my shoulders relaxed just a little bit. I was really nervous before. Even a short stroll through Yoshiwara has that effect on me. I hear adults save their money just so they can come here regularly. But I'm probably too young for that. I'm not ready for that sort of thing. And I don't have any money either. What's more, I don't have any beauty to be proud of. Let's just get this errand over with so I can go home. Right after I mutter that to myself and begin to walk faster, I notice something. A man and a woman whispering in the shade of a tree catch my eye. Wow. He's so beautiful. I'm used to seeing slightly older men who are no longer courtesans in my village. But I almost never get the chance to see young men. Apparently, courtesans rarely are allowed to go outside. Without thinking, I stop and stand still. The sound of a pebble crunching under my foot rings out loud and clear. It's too late for me to pass by unnoticed. The couple under the tree turn towards me with expressions of mixed surprise and fear. Oh! The woman hides her face immediately. The man shields her with his body and then turns to face me again. His eyes are filled with sorrow, and his face is marred by despair. Excuse me, miss. Would you mind pretending you never saw us? In that moment, I understood the situation. He's a courtesan on the run. The two of them are planning to elope. This is really none of my business. From a gap in the man's kimono, I can see the woman's eyes peering at me in terror. We want to get married, so we're going to escape this island together and go back to the mainland. We just want to be happy together. I can feel the passion behind his appeal. I... There's no reason for me to stand in your way. Is that what it's like to be in love? Is this the passion of two people in love? I'm a boat captain's daughter. 
There's a boat headed for the mainland at the harbor right now. Let's hurry back. What? Oh, this is the girl. <laughs> what? Uh, are you serious? Are you sure? You mean, let's hurry. Thank you so much. The woman's curving voice echoes in my heart. I will never, I will ever, will I ever fall in love like these two someday? I can't even imagine it. And that's how I end up helping two strangers elope. When we say goodbye, they give me a beautiful kimono and some money as thanks. They tell me they don't need it anymore because they will be getting married on the mainland. The money wouldn't have been enough to buy him out of slavery anyway. Nevertheless, they gave me what they had desperately saved up together. I'm not sure whether I should accept something so valuable or not. So this is how much they value being able to return to the mainland. Their smiles are full of so much happiness. After seeing them off, I hurriedly returned to town. I still haven't finished the errand my mother sent me to run. However, while I was busy helping the runaways, the town had changed around me. It's turned into the nighttime district I'm so used to. Pine torches burning with crimson flames, beautiful hanging lanterns, young men dressed in fine, gaudy clothing. And everywhere you look, women. Women and, well, more women. I move even faster to escape the men's leering gazes, and they smoke pipes in stores. I have to hurry. I have to hurry. But just then, I hear a sudden burst of loud cheers and cries of admiration ahead of me. I look up to see what is happening. I see a single, wonderfully handsome man dressed in splendid, gorgeous clothes. He's walking forward at a leisurely pace. Every head turns to stare. Every mouth utters a sigh. His stunning beauty and presence demand it. This must be a courtesy's procession. I'm so overwhelmed that I stop walking. A lot of women and men who are the either servants or new recruits trail along behind him. He glides gracefully down the street. For just a second, our eyes meet. That single look is enough to root me to the spot. He gives me a sudden smile. I stand there, still rooted to the spot, until the whole procession has moved on. Oh no, I forgot about the errand again. Coming to my senses with a start, I dash forward again. Passing through the Inari Shrine, I finally arrive in front of Kikuya. I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm on an errand from the boat wholesale store. I step inside timidly. Despite my nervousness, my nervousness, I'm sorry. Despite my nervousness, I manage to call out. Just then, I hear footsteps stealthily approach from inside. A man appears before me. He has sleek black hair and somewhat icy looking features. He smiles at me while I stand there quaking with surprise. I've been waiting for you. My, my, what a cute little messenger we are. My name is I Aurora. Iroha. Iroha. Iroha? My name is I Iroha? Iroha. I hope I said that right. Iroha. Iroha. Oh, wow. <laughs> My name is Iroha. I guess that's how you say it. <sighs> My name is Iroha. I work here at Kikuya. It's a pleasure to meet you. Iroha. I'm from the wholesale store on the boat. My name is Hidetome Masao. With a slight bow, I hold out the goods I was sent to deliver. Why, thank you. Thanks for coming all the way out here. Still, I had no idea Mr. Gnoma had such a lovely daughter. What? He must be mistaking me for someone else. I'm the boat store's owner's daughter, not Mr. Gnoma's. I do know him, though. He's a traitor, and the very person who requested these goods delivered for him. He's a rich, knowledgeable, and fairly well-known older man. Is this your first time in the pleasure quarters? He changes the topic before I can correct him. 
you look extremely nervous. And there's a look on your face like you just saw something terrifying. He is smile he's smiling cheerfully, but a sharp tone makes my heart skip a beat uncomfortably. N no, nothing like that. I just saw something really beautiful. Oh? What was it? A procession of courtesans? He seems to know everything. I give a small nod in response. Please excuse me. I, I must be off. Are you leaving already? You must be tired carrying such a heavy package. He calls out to me as I turn my back on him. I stop and stand there frozen in shock. Could he possibly know about me helping those lovers escape? I'm scared. I tighten my grip on the gift they gave me. And what's more? It looks like it's something really important. Slowly, fearfully, I turn to face him. There's a faint smile on his face. What has he realized? What is he thinking? I am so, so scared. The man at the head of the procession was our Takawa, Takayo. He should be back any minute now. What do you say? Would you like to meet him? W what? O oh, no. I couldn't possibly. His unexpected offer makes me even more desperate to leave. <laughs> Are you guys talking about me? Aw, I'm so happy. Huh? The man from the procession? A handsome man suddenly appears before us. It's the same man who enchanted me during the procession. What excellent timing, Takeo. How did the procession go? I ran into a very interesting girl. She was holding a huge package and staring at me like she'd seen a ghost. Uh oh Oh? She didn't happen to be a cute, innocent-looking one Yeri, did she? She did, actually. In fact, she looked just like this. With that, Takeo peers closely at my face. His deep, clear eyes look straight into mine. It's like he's staring straight into my heart. Studiedly, fixedly, he stares at me. <laughs> As you can see, I'm pure flesh and blood. I even have feet. My eyes are drawn irresistibly to Takayo's legs. To his slim, compact ample ankles and his smooth, manicured toenails. For some reason I don't understand, I feel embarrassed and turn my face away. <laughs> What's wrong? Do my legs scare you? Why don't you touch them? They're warm. My legs, my chest, my arms, all of me. I'm just like you. Nice and hot. Oh, oh! His gaze is inviting, and his motions are enticing. I find myself starting to blush. And it's not just my face. I can feel my whole body growing warm. That's enough, Takayo. You've teased enough young girls for one day. <laughs> What's wrong with liking what you see? Absolutely nothing. You just have to pick your moment. You have a client waiting, but I'll save a place for you later if you want it. What do you say, miss? Uh huh? Uh, a place for me? No, no. I I'm nobody special. I don't deserve special treatment. Don't be so modest. I insist. Hmm? What's going on? Is the owner actually inviting someone over? I almost gasp in shock when a man suddenly interrupts our conversation. Tokiwa, mind your manners. The man named Tokiwa. His hair and eyes are both unusually colored. There's an animal-like friendliness about him, and he looks at me like he's licking me all over. You don't need manners to love a girl, do you? I can't help it if my manners are bad, not when I'm so eager to sink my fangs into a cute girl. I'm the great Tokiwa of the Kikio brothel, after all. <sighs> That's pretty big talk for a servant who's forever suck stuck as number two. What was that? I don't want to hear that from a slacker who takes his high rank for granted. You can criticize me all you like once you make it to my level. If you can, that is. That's enough, both of you. 
Iraha puts the baker and Curtisons firmly in their places. You're keeping the clients waiting. Get going now. All right, all right. Fine. They slink off somewhat reluctantly. I'm a little taken aback to see how casual Curtisons are behind the scenes. I apologize for that. Now, about what we were discussing earlier. Just as he began to speak, tap, tap, tap. I could hear footsteps coming down the stairs. I looked up, only to see a young boy walking towards me, one step at a time. He was dressed impeccably. His expression looked intelligent, and his movements were refined and dignified. He looked completely out of place. I remember feeling unsettled. Ira Hassan, I need to talk to you. The boy sat down next to Ira Hassan. Iroha. Yeah, that's Ira. Ira. I hope I'm saying it right. The, bo the boy sat down next to Ira, Has Ira Hassan and started whispering in his ear. I apologize for disturbing you when you're with a customer, but it's urgent. Please excuse me, miss. Certainly. Ira Hassan nodded to me, then turned to the boy and gave him his full attention. Um, it's about Kagura-san. How rude! I'm a customer, you know. I know, I know. It's not a big deal. Come on, calm down. Not a big deal? My money's just as good as anyone else's. What do you mean I can't buy Kagura? Stop it! Let go! Thank you for your business. Please come again. The man dragged the woman to the door and pushed her out, fighting her every step. I wonder what that was about. Despite the ruckus, everything quieted the minute the door closed behind her. A man came down the stairs as quiet as quiet returned, looking round for the source of the noise. The atmosphere around him was different. His outfit was sharp and impeccably tailored. He walked like a warrior, and his features were handsome and rugged. I suppose it wasn't unusual to see so many different men. After all, we were in the red light district. Here, the normal rules of the world don't apply. Kagura, that must have been upsetting. Money can't buy everything. Our eyes met. Just that, just that, nothing else. His eyes held no emotion. His expression portrayed no reaction. He just looked at me. It was just a look, but it sent slivers of ice running up my spine. I wanted him to look away. More than that, I wanted him to overlook me. As I thought that, his gaze smoothly moved away from me, as though nothing wor worthy had happened. He abruptly turned around and started climbing the stairs, as silently as when he came. That was what I wanted to tell you. Oh, Kagoro, that must have been difficult for you too. It wasn't so bad. On that note, Ira Hassan, who's the pretty lady? He glanced at me impetuously. <laughs> Tonight's special, so I thought I'd set her up. Oh really? If that's the case... He looked me over. It felt like he was feasting on me with his eyes. It felt really gross. Can... can I help you? You're very beautiful, but that beauty's wasted on you. <laughs> <laughs> he snorted suddenly, a teasing glint in his eyes. I gaped at him. His personality didn't match his clothes at all. When will you learn how to speak to customers? Please accept my apologies, miss. He really means no offense. He's just saying you're beautiful. Yeah, really? My first impression of him might have been false, but there was something endearing about the act. That may be true. I have been instructed by Congress on in the fine arts of entertaining, but for now... With that, he stood and started climbing the stairs. Oh dear, I really am sorry. He's still in training. I it's fine. Let's forget that happened. Let me find you a table. 
What type of man here strikes your fancy? I wonder if I can really take him up on that offer. I looked at him, mentally preparing a refusal. But a smile was so sincere, I felt bad turning him down. I... Oh boy. <laughs> so these are the guys that I can choose from. We never, we didn't meet this guy. His name is Hayabusa? Hayabusa. Oh man, I gotta learn these names. Iraha? I hope I'm saying them right. Iraha. I think I am. If I'm not, please tell me in the comments below. Tokiwa? I know Tokiwa. Kagoro. Kagura. Takayo. Iraha. I, I think that's how you, I'm, I, I think. Hayabusa. Hayabusa. I think that's how I say that. And if anybody can help me out, that'd be great. <laughs> but I don't know who I'm going to pick first. So tell me who I should pick first. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and, you know, tell me who I should play. And thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This will be played alongside Resident Evil. I still have to finish up Alice Mare. I still have to finish up... Uh, dragon essence so those two are coming up soon uh and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye guys bishi out